let me just give you a little background of uh, what is Mobiles for Good. Mobiles for Good was conceived last year with the help of Vodafone Foundation, which they run all over the world. You know, they have 30 plus, uh, 20 plus, is that right? 28 Vodafone Foundation chapters all over the world, and they give away various kind of endowment uh, for using mobile for good purposes. So we integrated this award into my Ambillion's Award because Ambillion's Award was already reaching out large number of people, large number of innovations. And uh, last year, we uh, gave away 20 lakh rupees uh, to two organizations, and both those organizations are present here, and one of those organizations is going to announce how they use the money properly and something extremely good, which I'm going to tell you in about a couple of minutes. And this year, the success of the last year, we increased the award amount to 40 lakh rupees to four people. And these are the awards which is given to any NGOs, which is registered officially, and they are using mobile in an innovative manner to serve their society, serve their community, wherever they are. And more often than not, we find them coming into the uh, uh, health sector. But more from Laura, we would like to hear. Don't shy away. This is your. <laughs> so you can tell how many nominations and other things. OK. Well, this is obviously my favorite part of the day. And so good evening, everyone. And thank you, Osama. And so we're delighted that it's the second year of the Vodafone Mobiles for Good. And we were keen to tap into the innovation that was very much apparent in the voluntary sector. And it did not let us down. And this year, we had 93 entries. I think Delhi had the most amount of entries. And uh, there were four categories um, in terms of the applications received. And that was business, governance, um, health and inclusion. Um, so yes, we had another jury panel. We deliberated over a long time, and uh, it was a pretty hard process to try and select the winners, especially when there's four million rupees at stake. But we're delighted to say that we believe that we've uh, selected the uh, four and strongest contributors, and we look forward to working with them over the next year or so, both in a mentor capacity to try and, as everyone has said earlier, reach sustainability. And so really on that note, just to say there's also a book which supports all the shortlisted. And I'd like to congratulate everyone who made it to the shortlist. We had a wonderful session earlier um, in which everyone was sharing their story. So the books are there. So please take one on your way out. Um, and uh, I think thank you to obviously Osama and the team and making this possible. They have been grafting over the last months in terms of attracting entries, generating interest and awareness. Um, and we're delighted to say that it's resulted in the success that it has. So thanks, everyone, for contributing. So I think in terms of next steps, we're going to call the shortlisted out. Yeah, a couple of things that I would like to share with all of you is that for M Billionth also, it has been a learning for the last two years. That we never told that only NGOs are allowed to nominate or something. But just because of this uh, subcategory into M Billionth, last year we got 65 entries. Not all of them were eligible because many of the corporations started applying under uh, CSR projects that they do which was not eligible according to us. But we came to know that about more than 250 organizations or initiatives in the country purely working in a social sector under NGOs who are using mobile in an extremely innovative manner. And that was a big news for us itself. You know? and, and, and this is not closed. I mean, this is increasing every year. And so much so that we, real, we are realizing that, you know, although we have a different kind of world, a vast world and all those things, but there is a whole new world taking place at the grassroots level where the mobile being utilized innovatively. I mean, they, are, they do, do not depend on apps. They do not depend on those, you know, software-based applications and all that. But what simply mobile can do, you know, just simply as it is, as a learning tool, as, as a voice tool, as, as a communication tool, Anything, you know, an amazing, amazing impact uh, has come up. All, all it is required is the how we can scale it up. And that is where I request those people who are into the corporate world, into the industry, to take a few examples and work with them 
to give, give them the scale which they cannot do because they work with communities at a local level. What we can do is that we can take them forward at a national and international level. That's a big learning that we have and that is what you will find in this book. And this book is not only the winners and the 15 uh, shortlisted, but all the entries we have you know, given a detail about it so that maximum people know it, they collaborate with them and take them further. And that, that, so it's a, it's a learning book uh, for all of us. And uh, yes, so so the, so what we would like to um, announce is the 15 name. But before that, I think giving over 15 uh, tablets would be too much for Laura. So can I request for uh, you know Jonathan to also accompany just her down. and uh, you know? So I'll just read it out. Okay, we have, uh, we have had four categories in this uh, nominations, health category, governance category, education, and business and enterprise and financial inclusion. I will read out the names of the organization and I will request them to you know, come this way and see if this tablet works for them or not. Uh, in health, e-compliance. <laughs> that is my favorite. This organization is, is trying to overcome all the TB problem in the country by the means of biometric and uh, mobile. So here you go. So how are you going to divide one tablet between five people? Uh, can I call this next one? Mera Swast Meri Awaz, My Health, My Voice, from Uttar Pradesh. <laughs> you are alone. You have no fear for others. You can use the tablet alone. The next is Vibration Series of Mobile Apps for the Deaf and Blind. The next is use of mobile phone by Ashas. That's to promote healthcare from Rajasthan. And next is RTDI's M Health Initiative from Tamil Nadu, IIT Madras. Thank you. RTBI is M Health. Thank you. In the governance category, Jharkhand Mobile Radio, the guys who have experimented with using mobile as a reporting tool, Jharkhand Mobile Radio. Not here? The next is tracking livelihood entitlement of rural communities using mobile phone based MIS in Odisha. <laughs> this organization tracks all the government agencies, their deliverables, and if it is not delivered, it is reported back by mobile. Next is locating and, locating and rating of public restrooms in India. This organization locate and rate all the public toilets in the town and tell whether they are usable or not, gender friendly or not.
Thank you. SMS campaign enabled by Election Watch software, EWS from Andhra Pradesh. So these people basically try to track all the contesting you know, the candidates in the election and report back to the citizens. Thank you. The other category is business, enterprise, and financial inclusion. And the first one is from Bihar, banking and livelihood promotion services now in your mobile. Are they present here? Yes. And the next is Pani SMS, Nokri SMS, Velai SMS, Kesasa SMS, Andhra Pradesh. Kalesa SMS. So these guys want to provide all the Nokri related news on SMS. Thank you. The next is from Andhra Pradesh from Nandi Foundation, Livelihood 360. Congrats. Uh, the next is education, urban ward project, urban ward project, not present. Uh, next is Mahila Shakti mobile as an educational tool for women empowerment from Uttar Pradesh, Varanasi, Mahila Shakti. This is one, one very, very, uh, you know, interesting project. They use mobile as a slate, as a, as a learning tool from one, two, three, A, B, C. All that is a learning tool for them. Mubarak <laughs> So that's, that's the end of it. No, don't take away those. <laughs> the video, Rohit, of the four winners. You have to run all the 16 videos. Okay, so we can live without the videos. <laughs> Mira Swast, Media was my health, my joy.
And the second one is Nandi Foundation. And I only have three people. Third one in education goes to Mahila Shakti. Organization boss, sir, from Uri, sir. Certification and trophy. So, Manu, as a head of external affairs, do you have some emotions to share? I can only share one thing, that you guys are great and you are unleashing a new India, right? And you, all of you are great heroes. And what you are doing for the country, right, generations will remember. Thank you. Okay, now, since we are at the end of the wait for the for the um, uh, food may i now announce last year's one uh, winning candidate in this one and manu i would like you to be here and laura as well there is because your investment has to see the result so can i request edu Arta to come here and tell us what exactly you did uh, lately they were inspired by satyameo jayate um, uh, serial on uh, the cast casteism and they have now started on their education thing. Nini, Apo. Amir Khan ji ke Satyamayu Jayate ka jo episode tha, Dignity for All, jis mein bhangi samaj jo hai na, kaas mehtar, jo haath se mela saaf karte hai, aapne dekha hoga bahut logo ne, to unho ne appeal kiya tha, human extract ka jo haath se saaf karte hai unke baare mein, ki is samaj ke pragati ke liye, दूसरे समाज के लोगों ने आके बड़े समाज के लोगों ने आके मदद करना चाहिए तो उससे इंस्पिरेशन लेके हम लोगों ने हमारा एजु वार्ता भी ओनली फॉर मेहतर समाज दैट इज भंगी जो नरंदा साफ करते उनके लोगों के लिए अनाउंस किया पिछले चार या पांच दिनों में 3500 ऑनलाइन रजिस्ट्रेशन हुए एसएमएस के द्वारा सिर्फ पांच दिनों में और ये सिर्फ महाराष्ट्र का फिगर बोल रहा हूँ पांच दिन का एसएमएस रजिस्ट्रेशन का फिगर अभी ये सबसे अस्पृश्य समाज जिसको जिसे बोला जाता है वो भी कितना मोबाइल के माध्यम से जुड़ना चाहता है मैं ओसामा जी को रिक्वेस्ट किया था कि ये नेशनल लेवल पे अपने डीएफ के जो सहयोगी लोग हैं पूरे देश में वो अनाउंस करेंगे अपने अपने जगह जाके पूरा प्रेस रिलीज हमारे पास है सिर्फ आप नीचे आपका नाम बदलो टेक्नोलॉजी प्लेटफॉर्म रेडी है इनकमिंग एसएमएस का उसको रिप्लाई करने का उनको क्वालिटी कंटेंट एक साल भेजने का वो सब वोडाफोन की 
ग्रांड फंड से हम लोग करने वाले हैं मैं so they just it, by means of this poster they would like to announce that this service is now available at a national level to reach out anybody who is considered to be low caste and because of which they are discriminated to reach them through the means of sms with educational content and give them a chance to join the brigade of educational society and you know overcome the discrimination that's the service which is available any of you would like to launch it just launch it the application is ready the platform is ready and we are ready to launch it anywhere in the country so we are announcing it to to with all of you to work here this service is called as behtar mehtar behtar mehtar और मैं सभी डीएफ और वोडाफोन इंडिया फाउंडेशन का शुक्रगुजार करके एक लाइन कहता हूं हमें और जीने की चाहत न होती अगर तुम न होते थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू एंड देर इज देर वॉज ए स्मॉल बाय मी एम फूड फ्रॉम आंध्र प्रदेश वी मिस्ड आउट एमंग द शॉर्ट लिस्टेड can you please come over and take your uh, gift please i'm so sorry congratulations so i mean manjir also is targeting the good work huh i'm so sorry so that's the end of it may i request the winners to come here please so just to have one last photograph for our uh, press